Hi, this is Samantha Seacrest's uh, week five journal, journal entry for this class. Um, the first point question that I need to answer reads, how has this course helped you be more prepared for successful leadership? And I believe, um, I mean, it's kind of obvious that this class helped open my eyes to the legal aspect of early childhood education and just education in general. Um, and I have to confess it wasn't something that I um, had considered in the past, it wasn't a perspective that I had um, necessarily considered as a concern um, or something that I would need to be concerned with in the future. Um, and I think that's just because I work with such a young age group, but all the more reason why I should be prepared and protect myself as much as I want to protect the students that I work with and their families' rights, I want to protect my own. So I think just having that perspective would help me be a better leader in making decisions, especially life-altering decisions in the educational environment for these kids. Um, you know, consulting lawyers or um, legal advisors with those decisions and an assistance with making decisions um, that would affect them or their families or myself in my own professional development, my own classroom. I would think it would be extremely beneficial and a good example, which leads to the second point of this journal, um, which is how do you see yourself using the information in this course to support your own leadership goals? Um, and that's one of my big leadership goals, is leading by example. And if I show my peers and my fellow coworkers, even like assistants and aides, who look up to me as a leader or a role model, a mentor, um, I, it would let them know that it is something to consider and that's something they should, they should keep in mind as they go through their own path in their career aspirations in the educational world. I think it's, it's extremely important to keep in mind, especially for people first coming into this this field, looking at it to a career, because it's not something I considered being so green in this field. Um, you know, only having a couple years experience, um, this being my first collegiate course in education, um, it's just not something that I had really considered being, like I said, like a worry or anything that I would need to be concerned about in the future. So I think just having that in mind sets the tone for being a leader to people who haven't had much experience and aren't really sure about all the aspects of education that need to be addressed especially in a career or as a lifelong career, because I didn't. <laughs> All right, and then the last point reads, how might the information in this course change or add to your own personal definition of leadership? Especially considering the IS LLC standards. Well, I think my professional definition of leadership, especially in terms of education and teaching, um, follows along the same lines of the ethical standards to which teachers, we as teachers, are held. Um, and I think these standards can just be tacked on to those ethical standards, the ones that are outlined in the Code of Ethical Conduct. Um, the NAEYC's Code of Ethical Conduct, um, I would just make them, like I say, tack them on and make them 
further guidelines by which to, like I said before, make our decisions, um, guide our actions in the classroom, in the school, on the school board, in administration, um, in every aspect of decision making that affects young children, their families, and us as teachers, and, and the community as a whole, the educational community as a whole. Um, that's how the standards have changed my perspective of my definition of leadership, is the guidelines by which to guide my decisions in terms of legal dilemmas as opposed to ethical dilemmas, which, I mean, in education are pretty close in, in family, as I, as I have read in these cases that we've read, um, that have set the, the legal principles that uh, lead to the laws and the, and the amendments in the Constitution. Um, the ethical and legal dilemmas are can be grouped pretty much in the same the same niche, so to speak, especially when making decisions. Um, it's difficult to delineate between them. Um, so really, as decision makers, with all this responsibility, with such a heavy responsibility on our shoulders, we really need all the guidance we can get. And the understanding of the importance and the significance of these standards, along with the ethical code of conduct, will only help us more to make better decisions, more effective decisions, to help better guide these students and set the tone for the future of our own profession in setting these principles leading to laws that apply to everyone in the educational world. Alright, I think I've hit on everything. Thank you so much, and I appreciate it.